Jazz hands. Hello, guys. How are you? You well? Uh, happy Good Friday. Yes. We have made it to Friday, and it is Good Friday. So I hope everybody's had a nice day. Uh, I well, hopefully, most of you had a day off. That's yeah. I'm hoping so you have a nice rest for relaxing day. We certainly have. Yes, we have. I've what have we done today? Laying around. We, we but we did actually do a video. We did. We did do a video. Do you want to say? If you want to, yeah. So, uh, well, funny enough, so Kenny and I, when we woke up this morning, we just thought, oh. We, would, we oh. were due to go out. Yeah, we were. But I was just like, oh, do you know what? It's just been such a long week. Let's just chill for today. Do you know what? So what we did is what we would normally do on the live. We actually did an order, and we ordered in Greg's. So we got a whole load of stuff from Greg's. I'm ashamed to say I what? I'm ashamed to say I ate all of mine. Yeah. Excuse oh, me, a bit of a you. sneeze, and um, you can tell it's live, and uh, yeah, so we we had that, so that will go up on a video at some point, I'm not yeah. sure it'll be the next one that we put up, but we will be putting that up at some point. Yeah, for sure, um, we, yeah, so we just ordered a load of stuff, it's quite surprising how much we ordered, and how much you ate in about two seconds. Yeah, I know, I'm going to say actually, the quick, but you get a lot for your money. You do. You get an you awful really, lot for money. You really, really do, and um uh, for me, I feel like Greg's has changed quite a lot because mm. there are a couple of things in Greg's that I just thought, do you know what? Like, I wasn't looking forward to all of the stuff from Greg's because I feel like at one point for me, Greg's have gone downhill. Um, but oh no, 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 they have upped their game. They Greg's have, have I, upped their game. They they really have changed. So I was quite surprised. That's yeah. I've got to say, they really have up their game. So if you haven't been to Greg's for a while, like we haven't. The last time I had Greg's, I can't remember when. Oh, probably pandemic. Hey, Eva. Hey, Eva. How are you? Eva says, I don't have any hot cross buns left. I ate them from Dunn's. They were great. <laughs> a plain set and an apple flavor. There you... seems to be a running theme, Eva. I feel like there seems to be a running theme. You and your thing. I was going to say, but do you know what? Just remember the taste, Eva, and don't worry about it. Uh, sis, you didn't call me. Oh, sorry. Do you know what? Because when we get off the live, there are things that I have to do online, and I did forget. But do you know what I mean? Sometimes feel free to call me, um, uh, but not as soon as I get off the live, probably about half an hour after I get off the live. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait, they were doughy. Oh, dear. Where'd you get from Dunn's? I don't know. Duns. Duns, don't uh, there, there is no, no, no. There is, but it's spelt differently. So I don't know if it's the same company. There is a Duns in the UK for sure. There is definitely a Duns Baker. Mm. Uh, where are we? Uh, uh, it says all I want. Uh, says all I wanted was moist hot cross buns. <laughs> oh, I know. I can't believe they were rubbish. Oh no. Is it is it the Duns at your place? Is it actually a chain or is that just a uh, a local baker? Chain? I believe it's a chain. I've heard of it before, but not in the UK. I've not heard of it. Um, Dun stores. Oh, okay. St. Bernard's UK is gone. Right. I was going to say, I have heard of a Dun's. Sam, how are you? Hey, Sam. Oh, with a very fetching Cleopatra uh, avatar. Looking very good. Oh. How are you feeling, Sam? Are you feeling a bit better? I know you've been oh. really unwell recently. I hope yeah. you're feeling a bit better. hope you and the fam are well. Yeah, Dun's yeah. is a chain. It is the one. It is the one. Uh, didn't didn't someone say it wasn't in the UK anymore? Didn't, uh, didn't this one? Is that what Eva said? Uh, no, Eva said the one in um, St Bernard's is gone. But I don't know if that means they're gone all over. So definitely Duns is a chain, but we don't have it here. I've never seen it or heard of it. Well, so but I know Duns is a chain because I yeah. Well, clearly Eva does not rate it because she said it was rubbish. So um, there you are. Well, I'm sorry you didn't have good hot cross buns. Mm. But don't worry, remember that taste, because we are going to be doing our taste test in a little bit. And St. So Cot sent us a message earlier, and he's got um, a few hot cross buns in oh, as well. fantastic. So we will leave a little bit before we start, so just so we get more people on so they can do it as well. Yeah. Happy Good Friday to those that celebrate it. Yeah. We've got our tea and got coffee. A nice cuppa, which Mark made. Yeah, we didn't do Starbucks today. Um, no. Like I said, we... Um, we didn't do Starbucks because we did our earlier review and now we're going to do this. And yeah. I just felt like getting Starbucks might be a bit... A bridge too far. Yeah. A, far, a bridge yeah. too far. Having Starbucks then... Well, we had breaks this morning, then Starbucks. Then we're going to eat six 
hot crossbones. Um, right. Sam said, we're all suffering from this nasty bug. It's oh. just not stopping. Oh, Sam. Because you did say you had norovirus. I, I reckon it'll be like, if it's anything like um, uh, um, the uh, coronavirus, I feel like it'll be with you for a couple of weeks. And hopefully, but hopefully it clears up soon. Yeah, I was going to say, because you've had that pretty bad. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've not had, I've been very lucky, I've not had a neurovirus. I've had gastroenteritis. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it, and that's nasty. So I hope you feel better soon, Sam. I mm. really, really do. Um, so apologies that we're going to be eating food. I hope that doesn't put you off. I know you, uh, you've probably been really, really ill, but we will be doing the uh, hot cross buns. Um Eva said, Mark, we show the hot cross oh, hang on. Eva's come up from comments. Mark, you and Kelly are the family I choose. Oh, bless you. Bless you she bless said, you. Uh, tried an Indian today, but I didn't like it. Oh. Well, you've got to persevere because you've got to try and find one. There will be an Indian takeaway or an Indian restaurant near you that will serve really good food. Yeah, uh, that, you, that you will like. Yeah. But um, it's, it's a tricky one, I feel like, with takeaways because especially when they get taken over by someone else, I feel like sometimes you have this takeaway. So we had an Indian takeaway near us. It was so good. It was brilliant. We we it was expensive, but we'd order from them quite often. And uh, then they changed over hands, and it's never been the same. No, since. I know. So this is it. It really just depends on the local one. I'm sure you'll find someone that's really good. Uh, Sam said, "Happy." Uh, oh, so yeah. Eva said, "Oh, Sam, you poor petal." Mm. Uh, happy Good Friday uh, to everybody. I'm in the middle of the movie, the greatest story ever told, which oh, I wow. finished this this live. Your grandfather used to watch that, didn't he? Every he day. he would watch different things. So he'd watch things like uh, the Ten Commandments, um, anything about sort of like well Jesus, John the Baptist, anything like that that was on um, in and around Easter. But I wonder if uh, Jesus Christ Superstar is going to be on. Maybe because it's one of my faves. Well, so. Eva is watching the Passion of Christ after the live. Is that the that's the Mel Gibson one, isn't it? The one he directed, not in it. But I'm sure that's the one he he directed. That, when I watch that one is about so Jesus Christ Superstar and the Passion of the Christ. Um, they are the ones. If it's if it's the one that I'm thinking of, because there was another one which was similar or, or or a similar title to the Passion of the Christ, but it's not the Mel Gibson one. But anyway, so the Mel Gibson directed one and Jesus Christ Superstar are about the last few days of um, Jesus's life, basically. Um, well, Jesus Christ is a little bit longer, but the Passion of the Christ is about the last few days um, of his life and what he was going through and stuff like that. So, but it is it, it's all done in Hebrew, so it's not in English, but it's got English subtitles. Ah. So it's all all the actors and it's uh, what's his name that did um, Person of Interest. I forget his name oh, now. Oh, yeah, I know. I forgot. David Cavazell. Yeah, David Cavazell. That's so right. David Cavazell, he plays um, Jesus. Um, but it's a really touching film. I went to see it twice. Um, and it's really, yeah, it, it's, yeah. The way that it's done, it's just amazing. Sam said, I love The Ten Commandments and Ben-Hur uh, too. Such good movies. Yeah, my we granddad would have watched all of those. Yeah. Um, tank, well, with uh, Charlton Heston. Yeah, Charlton Heston. Yeah. Which, uh, funny enough, actually, it's one of those things. It's uh, We haven't done a movie marathon for quite a while. Mm. We'll have to do that as well. Uh, a bit different for me watching Cocaine Bear the other week. Uh, Lauren said, oh, Lauren, how are you? Hey, Hi. Lauren. She says, hello. You okay, Hi. Lauren? How are you? Hope you're well. Right, now then, let's go on. So we will be doing the taste test. We are going to be trying. Now, this is no particular order. So, first of all, we got the four brand new apple hot cross buns. This is from Tesco. Da, 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 da. We have the... Now, it says luxury fruited hot cross buns. I'm assuming these are the posh, just regular ones. Yeah. Um, but these are the four, the four fruit, luxury fruited hot cross buns. Some very flat blueberry... Uh, they got flattened in my bag when I was I know. Look at that. Super thin. So, they're almost like pancakes. So there we are. We've got those to try. I thought they might puff up, but they never did. Now these don't. These are all extremely something. I don't know why they call it extremely, but anyway, excuse. Me. So these are the extremely caramelly, not caramel, but caramelly. 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 Uh, those are those ones. Then we've got the extremely chocolatey ones. Now we did try these. If you may recall, when we on Pancake Day, we did do the extremely chocolatey ones and the caramelly. 
Did you give caramelly pancakes? I was definitely the extremely chocolatey one. I don't know because you didn't get all of them. I don't think. But no. I managed to get all of. Other than that, they did do gluten free range, but I didn't get the gluten free. But I got all the others. Right now, and the last but not least, we're going to go for a savoury one. These are the extremely cheesy ones. So these are cheddar and red Leicester. Red Leicester. Now, um, the reason why I didn't pick up the gluten free. So um, M&S were doing a deal and it was two for three pounds. So there were six flavours and I picked up all six. However, so somebody yesterday also, because they go, oh, do you know what? I'm going to go and get a, um, a hot cross buns for everyone. I was like, all right, cool. In M&S, they're doing two for three pounds. Um, so the person went and got them and brought them back. And it, it was like two of the luxury ones and then one apple and one um blueberry and i was confused as to why he um had gotten two of the of the luxury fruit but do you know what he said that was all that was left really so all the flavors had gone and sure. they were the last sort of like flavors now, i was like kenny did get these well ahead of time so which is yeah. lovely actually so we tried today i don't think there were any I've, i picked them up on tuesday so uh, the day that we did the live on tuesday the day that i picked up um those um hot cross buns and we were able to take a picture because we showed them on the live yeah we well. did we yeah, did yeah, we, we did. showed them on Tuesday what a like. penny to a penny uh sam said the passion of christ is so brutal but so good funny enough i do remember years ago when it first came out in the cinema my friend went to see it he said it is really brutal you see him get whipped across the face and it was really yeah it was just very um hang on so uh jesus and narabeth if you have a spare six hours is also quite good oh well. Okay, no. Um, yeah, is it six I, hours long or is that the two well, of them the, those, those films back in the day, like, because even um, The Ten Commandments is a long film. Uh, there's, a, there's a couple of films back in the day that they just made and they were just, like, really long films. Uh, Lauren said, oh, get well, Sam. Lots of people are ill now, unfortunately. My great aunt, a woman I met from Doctors. I'm all right, though. <clears> thanks for asking. So the old dear, what, I hope your great aunt is okay. Um, yeah. I hope she's getting a bit better, Lauren. Um, oh, I've got the cheesy ones and a prime energy drink. Well, we haven't got prime, no. but we will join you with our little drinks with the prime energy. And I'm glad you're well, uh, Lauren. Mm. Sam said, um, when my Asda order arrived last night, they sent me a bunch of free roses saying thank you for shopping with us. Ro like chocolate roses or flower roses? I think she means flower roses because she goes on to say, Asda sent flowers to 50,000 people randomly. And I was one of them. Oh, Look at that. Nice. Oh, that wasn't random. They got all oh, that lovely Sam. You've got to say that lovely Sam. Uh, oh, are they nice? Have you got them all oh, displayed? Oh, they are. Uh, Jesus, oh, my God. Jesus Nazareth is just over six hours. Yeah. My God. A six-hour film. Is, was that meant to be a pun? No, 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 no. It's a six-hour film. When you said, my God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Anywho, right. So if anybody... All right, so if anybody wants to do the eat along as well, please feel free. Which one shall we start? So what Mark's going to do, he, you're going to toast yours, right? No, I'm just going to do oh, it. Oh, you're just going to do it. I just think it's going to, because I'm going to be having back and forth and back and forth. Well, that's what I was thinking. No. All right. Well, we should have got cheese then with our like, little cheesy one. Oh, your, your great aunt has had a kidney infection for a couple of weeks. Oh, oh I hope she's feeling better. Ooh. I hope she feels better. Uh, oh, she's in a picture of our flowers. Oh, we'll have a little look. Of our flowers. Uh, her flowers, I should say, not of her, our flowers. Right, shall we do that? Because Lauren has got the cheesy ones. Lauren, do you want to join us? Get your cheesy ones ready while Kenny's looking for the, this picture. I'm going to prep these and then we can eat them. You're toasting us, so we give you a couple of minutes. Tell us when you're ready and then we will do. We will do those ones. Actually, but if Lauren's toasting hers, I might toast them. I think the cheesy ones probably um, need a little bit of toasting. And right. if you bring the, the so I've got some uh, Cathedral City cheddar slices. Okay, right. So there it is. They have flattened a bit in the thing. If you can see that. You can see actual little flakes of cheese. And if you look to the side, you can just okay. about see where my finger is pointing there. There's bits of cheese. Now, there isn't much cheese inside it. Well, there is a bit. Yeah, how does it smell? Slightly cheese. Like, do you know, now, I'm thinking this is going to taste like a cheese scone. Oh, That's what I'm thinking. Cheddar getting. cheese scone. Right, let me go and put, I'll be back. He's going to toast it. Toaster. And can you bring the Cathedral City? Um, and then I can have, like, a little bit of cheese on it. 
Chase. Um, okay, so I'm assuming these are the flowers. So let me see if I can block my eyes. There we go. There we go. Yeah, they look great. They're amazing. They look really good. Right. I just... Oh, yeah. They do look nice. They do yeah. look really, really nice. They oh, wow. Really nice. I love all Sam's sort of uh, decor. Yeah. Like it's almost like Moroccan you've got there. Um, mm. I, I have um, one friend, and she has a friend who loves all of this type of stuff. And when you go to her house, it's all like this. Right, now we probably won't toast everyone purely no. because it's going to take ages. So I think I'll just because uh, Lauren's toasting hers, we'll toast ours. We'll also do a plain one for Kelly. Oh, yeah, look, that, that's the message. Just saying, uh, happy Easter. Just to say thanks a bunch for shopping with us from Asda. Oh, nice. So I had no idea Asda were doing that. Yeah. I had no idea. Right. So nice, so nice. Hey Charlie, how are you? You all right? Hey, well, see you for a bit. Everything okay? What are you up to? Um, so has anybody got any plans for the Easter weekend while we're waiting for that to toast? Has anything got any nice plans? Are they doing anything? Are you going out for something to eat? Do let us know. Bung it in the chat. Mm. Uh, right, so we're going to add a little bit. So we might be going out uh, this weekend. Well, we will be going out this weekend at some point. Yeah. To do a little bit of filming because we're just conscious. We haven't got to do a proper restaurant for a while. So we will be doing that at some point. Well, we're going to try, because uh, I haven't booked it. No, we haven't thought... booked anything. But so, it's a so, bit of a whim. Uh, the thing was, we were, so for two weeks running, there was one place that I wanted to go to. So one week, but then we ended up, we, we ended up going somewhere else because they didn't come back to me in time with the reservation. So we ended up going to Blacklock. Yeah. And then the following weekend, so I had booked it for the following weekend. However, the following weekend, we got sick. Yeah. So then I had to cancel it again, and I was just like, "Oh, I can't, I can't do it." That's like two weeks now, and so we're just gonna rock up and see if um, they have any walk-ins available. And if they do, then we'll be fine. But if not, we'll try something else. Three hundred forty followers. Well done, Charlie. Oh, uh, wow. oh, Ethan, Mark, and Kelly, you mean the world to me. Well, oh, bless you. Bless and we, you. we always are so grateful that you guys join us for our lives yeah. we really do it really makes our tuesday and our friday so we it thank really you so does. much for thank all your you. support uh where are we and uh oh yeah she says hello to lauren and to charlie right has it has it popped up no it's still going are you sure yeah. i thought i heard it pop up no 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 let me just check i'll be back Ooh, he's Actually, i could just check through the camera yeah exactly yeah Actually, i might pop it up quicker only because it's really thin I don't want it to burn. Right, right. Do you want me to put a slice of cheese on your plate? Uh, no, I'll try it au naturel. Okay. Well, it does smell nice. I think it smells cheesy as well. Oh, St. Cox here. I can only see his avatar. I can't read the words because I'm blind without my glasses. Well, not blind. I just can't see the writing without my glasses. I should have bought something to hold it. Ow, ow, ow. St. Cot, how are you? Evening all, so I'm late. You're not late. You're fashionably here. How are you, St. Cot? You well? Uh, Kelly is my sister figure, says Aww. Eva, who I absolutely idolise and adore. Uh, Sam said, we are hoping to make uh, an epic roast dinner. I've got a leg of lamb. This is for this weekend. Ready to go. And some delicious veggies. I even managed to get some fresh runner beans. Wow. Which I hated when I was little, but crazy. Oh, do you know what? I love runner beans. It's one of those things, actually, but when I was a kid, I wasn't too fun. Uh, I'm putting butter on this because Mark's chatting away and I'm thinking, I want right. my butter, butter to melt. All right, there you go. Uh, but yeah, I'm the same as well. I think well, as you get older, obviously your palate becomes a little more sophisticated. Yeah. Mine certainly was not sophisticated when I was a kid. Um, Only when it got together with me. Mark, screw anyone who thinks it's impossible. Well, what's impossible? Yeah, well, you're right, though. Never, ever, ever let someone doubt you. That is for sure. Right, I'm going to put a little bit of butter on mine. Right, Lauren, are you ready? Have you got yours all toasted? Um, we're starting, St. Cot, we're starting off with the cheese, um, the savoury cheese scone. Yeah, we're going to start with the savoury cheese scone. So if anybody has just joined, we will be doing... Sorry, not scone, uh, cheesy hot cross hot bun. So if anybody has just joined, we're doing the, the uh, extremely cheesy hot cross bun. So if you do want to come and join us with that and eat along, we're going to be doing this now. We're just waiting for Lauren. 
and then uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, and then we'll start it. Uh, Aoife said, Sam, you're, you're making me hungry. I was going to say leg and lamb, delicious veggies, and mm. and uh, with some organic runner beans. Oh, now I'm going to try this while we're waiting for Lauren because otherwise mine's going to go cold. Oh, go on then. So Look, I'm I'm going to try it, right? Sorry, Lauren, but sorry. somebody here can't wait. I'm well. I'm going to try it au natural, and then I'm going to try it with um uh some cheese. Um, have you even buttered yours? Yeah, have you buttered it. Okay, so I'm going to try it now. How is it? It's like cheese on toast. Really? That's how I take it. All, right. all it needs is a little bit of ham. Well, all, while we're waiting for Lauren, we just I'm gonna let's try them cold. So I've already cut them right across the X. You can have the line. Right, here we go. They're good. Mm. It needs butter and it's better toasted. That's nice. It, it's very. It's like a cheese sandwich. Right. It is like a cheese sandwich. Right. That is nice. You can just about see that there's really there's ton oh come on for the There you go. Can you see running through that are streams of cheese? You can just a bit make out the the dark yellow, and that's the cheese. Now I'm going to try it with some cheese. Why well, are you not waiting for Lauren? Okay. All right, Lauren. Sorry, Lauren. Somebody here couldn't wait. It's going to go cold. Right, Lauren, you ready? Let's go. So these are, you can look at that. You can see the yellow bits of there of the cheese on there. Right, let's try. Here we go. Oh, wow. Right. Those are really good. For me, it needs a little bit of ham. For sure. A little bit of ham. It tastes good with the cheese as well. Oh, my God. These are infinitely better toasted. Mm. They are infinitely better yeah. toasted. Yeah, that's what I said. Mmm. That is really, really good. With the cheese, really good. Okay, if you if you haven't tried these, so Cole, I would definitely recommend these. I know it's well for everybody really, but I, the only reason I said so Cole is because I know you do tend to like to go to. Um, Let me see what he. I can't remember what he because he showed me earlier. And it says used by today. I just noticed. Yeah, I tried to get good dates on them. Hold on. Oh yeah, 29th, Yeah. Doing like this today. Um, yeah, no, he didn't get. But what he did get is. Um, so St. Cop got blueberry and apple, and don't think he only went and got the strawberry and clotted cream. I know. Yep. So well, I mean, I don't know what it is with you, St. Cop, about trying to make me jealous. <laughs> but it's working. Uh, because I did want to get that as well. But Eva said, Lauren, I finished the crappy doughy hot cross buns. Absolutely doughy. How I ate them, I don't know. Guess I was eating out of boredom. Do you know what? I know what you're saying. It, it can be a bit annoying when you do that. When you just because you you feel you feel, and I do this. I'm really bad with this. If I bought it, I feel I've got to eat it. If I mm. paid money for it, and there's nothing more annoying when it is. I'm not like that. I, I wouldn't waste the calories on it. I'm like, huh? Um, Sam said we are having roast sweet potatoes. Uh, sweet sprouts. Sorry, we're having sweet potatoes. Sorry, sweet sprouts stuffing and giant Yorkshire puds too. Mm. I'm making rosemary and mint jelly gravy. Oh my word, Sam! That is amazing. Um, Note the veg said Eva. We just normally mash up spuds and roast uh, roast spuds as well, and lamb and rosemary and mint sauce. Sis Figure, please, can you do an Instagram call a bit later after the live? Yeah. Uh, said, I'm not a lover of the mint. Sam said, here in Cornwall, sweet is very popular with lots of butter and even more pepper. That combo of sweet and pepper is delicious. It's really, really mm. good. Uh, to show Thank you. you. She said, where's the gravy on all this? Um, mm. How are you, Tushy? Are you feeling a bit better? Because I know you have uh, you haven't been very well. Uh, we're just doing our live taste test of the um, hot cross buns, and we've just started extremely cheesy. 
highly recommend these. They are infinitely better toasted. They are mm -hmm. so much better toasted. They're, oh, you've eaten all of it. Oh, well, no, I was going to leave it. Of course, I'm going to eat all of it. What's the point of cooking it? Once it's like toast, when you can't let it go cold. No, what I'm saying is you even ate the cold one. Yeah, of course. I'm not messing around. You're looking at my I'm one, but you want to eat that one as well. You're gonna have it. Not done. messing around. No, 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 no. So we've got more to go. Right now, it'll still eat mine. Of course. Uh, where are we? Uh, Lauren said they are nice. So, so Lauren's just tried the cheesy ones as well. I was gonna ask you what you thought. They are nice. Got butter on mine. There was only a few left when we got them. They are really good. Do, yeah. Do you feel they taste like a cheese toasting though when you have them? That is, you don't even need the cheese with it. They taste that cheesy. It feels like they've got a cheese toasting. It's true. You don't need the cheese with it. It is nice with the cheese, but you don't need it. But I would put a piece of ham in that. Uh, I e might do that later. Aoife uh, said, uh, have lamb with mint is amazing. It she really like isn't. It. Um... Everyone said hello to Tushi. Yeah, I'm good, thanks. How are you both now? Oh, uh, interested in the cheesy one. Do try it. I would really recommend that. But you've got to toast them. They are yeah. so much better. They're, they're okay cold, yeah. but they are so much better. For me, cold, I would give them a 6 out of 10. Warm, that's a Ooh, 9. I would give them an 8. I'm giving them a 9. I'd give them an 8 for sure. They, uh, they won't be. Do you know what? And I was dreading them, right? I was just thinking, oh, they're going to be cheese. They're going to be like too cheesy. It's going to smell and all that. I was pleasantly surprised. Pleasantly surprised. Like I said, they're not a really strong cheese either. Um, lamb and mint jelly is the way too yummy. It's way too yummy, said Sam. Uh, I like a lot of mint things, right? Mark's the one that doesn't like mint anything. Um, but I like mint chocolate. I like mint. I like chewing gum. I like all of that. Um, mint with my lap, but but to be fair, I don't like you know apple sauce with my pork. I'm mint with my lamb. I'm not. I don't like um, pineapple on on pizza. Um, I don't like it when you're putting a pineapple on top of my pork. No, no. no. Right. Anyway, back to the hot cross buns. So, uh, Eva said, Tush, I hope you're feeling better. Sam is said, uh, Tush, uh, yeah, right. Tush asked, are they like cheese on toast? Now, Lauren said, sort of. I think they are a lot like yeah. cheese on toast. But I can understand with Lauren because um, she's saying the kind of sort of you know one of those things that we would definitely recommend. So Cot has just said, I have tried the strawberries and clotted cream. They are delicious. So Cot, that's the one we didn't get actually. What is the Cot? What is? Right, guys, what's the next one you'd like us to do? We've got blueberry, luxury fruits, Bramley apple. Well, so Cot's got apple and he's got blueberry. We've got. The chocolate, or we got the extremely caramel. Which one do you want us to do next? The Bramley says Eva. Right. That's the apple. Right? That's the apple. All right. We're going to do that one. Uh, oh, pineapple on chicken, sis. Just try it. No. Absolutely not. Kelly would never do that. Even with sweet and sour. And I love sweet and sour, but any time I see that pineapple in the sweet and sour sauce, it makes me mad. Uh... Interested by them, says uh, Tush. This is about the um, um, hot cross buns. Right. Uh, where are we? So I was jumping then. I missed where I was. Uh, da -da 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 Interested by them, but keep putting myself by them. Do try them, Tushy. That's our recommendation. Yeah. We do try them. Do Zoe, try them. how are you doing? Hey, Zoe. Says, Hi, guys. I've been looking forward to this tonight. I haven't bought any yet as I have had a nasty head cold. Oh, no. Oh. But I, I'll see yours. I'm buying some tomorrow. The cheese looks good. Zoe, so yeah. we definitely recommend the cheese ones, right? Yeah, and and um, if you go at the end of the day, um, uh, if they're still around, um, they do them on offer because the the, the dates are going out. So if you want to get them cheap, then do. Uh, Eva also said try pork and apple sauce, which is yum. No, it's not. Uh, pork talk with apple sauce and cheese are yum as well, said Sam. No, it's not. <laughs> right. I'm okay. just, I'm just, I'm just, sorry, I'm just letting you know. Uh, I feel like with pineapple... Oh, I've cut this really wrong. Here you go, have the bottom. You have the top. Well, we can cut, cut it in half. Yeah, okay. Oh, let me just show. So if you can just see, that's it there. It's going to zoom. So it has got raisins You have to in cover well. your eyes because it's focusing on your eyes. There we go. I can smell the apple from here. It's got yeah. like an apple and cinnamon flavour to it. You can see the little flecks of apple in it if I just open it up a little bit. So there we go. Right, I'm going to cut this in half. I'm not going to bother toasting this one because it just takes too long. But they probably are 
better toasted, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I like them when they haven't been toasted uh, with the fruit ones. Um, that's just me. Uh, oh, yeah, the apple is really strong. Well, yeah, you can really smell it, can't you, as well? Yeah, uh, so Cox asked for the brownie as well. Yeah, Zoe, I hope you do feel better. I hope you, because uh, we've just had a really bad head cold as well, yeah. so we've been suffering with it. So Kelly likes to put a tiny bit of her uh, hot cross bun with the butter. No, I don't want butter, thank you. Okay, so um, so yesterday somebody said, to, so I was eating a hot cross bun yesterday, and um, someone looked at my hot cross bun and goes, is that cheese? I was like, no, it's it's butter. So the, I was laughing because obviously I like a thick bit of butter with my. Teddy just puts the pack of butter on top of the thing. Uh, you yeah. stop exaggerating. You know how thick that is. It's so thick. Um, oh please! Right, so so Cobb wanted the brownie. So that's two for the brownie. So the brownie it is. Right here, here we, we go, go, guys. Right. That's fine. That is really good. For me, it doesn't even have to be toasted. I'd love to try this toasted, but that is almost like eating a cross between a hot cross bun and, a, and an apple pie. You can really taste the apple in it. I get what you mean. Because you synonymize the apple with an apple pie. That is really nice. That is really, 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 really nice. Mm. I like it. And I don't know how they've actually done the bun because it's the bun the bun is different, obviously, because this is a lighter bun, but red. And this is sort of like a almost looks like a a wholemeal bun of some sort. It isn't a wholemeal bun by, by any stretch, but no, it's not. Yeah, it feels home home mealy because it's yeah. the colour, but yeah, I, I yeah. think that's the apple. Yeah, I think the apple yeah, yeah, it could be, yeah. Um, uh, Lauren, go to your local m and and get some cheesy ones. Yeah, definitely, mm. said Lauren. Definitely would recommend that, Zoe. It's really nice, the cheese ones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Eva said, oh, sis, you are seriously kidding me. Pineapple is amazing, an apple with pork. So she said um, pineapple and... Uh, Kelly, oh, I can't... Kelly wouldn't... To her, that's sacrilege having uh, pineapple and pizza. Yeah, I love pineapple. Don't get me wrong; it does cut my tongue a bit, so it doesn't because it? it's a bit too acidic. But I love it. But when you go to Mauritius and you eat it, which is not acidic at all, it's a different type of pineapple. It's so juicy; it's lovely. the The ones here, or well, the ones that I've tried here, are a bit too acidic. But the ones when that you get, they're proper sweet. They're lovely. And um, anyway, I love pineapple. I, no, I don't want it on my pizza. No, I don't want it on my ham. It, I like it frittered, gorgeous. Um, and no, I don't want apple with my pork. Like, what? So, I don't want fruit with my with my savoury. No. Eva and Touche uh, said to Zoe, "Get well soon." So Zoe mm. said, "Thank you." Uh, mm. Sam said, "Brownies are the best apples for cooking." Do you know what, mm. Sam? I really recommend these. These are really good. If you are right, the brownie does do something else as well. It's got such a strong apple smell. Very strong. You can really, really smell it. I'm assuming there's cinnamon. Yeah, there's cinnamon in it as well. That combo of cinnamon and apple is fantastic. Uh, Eva said, Sis figure, please just try a pineapple turnover. <laughs> Would you try a pineapple turnover? Pineapple turnover, I'd try, yeah. I think it's the combo of the fruit and the meat she doesn't like. Rather I don't than like just the fruit. fruit and meat, and I don't like fruit on my pizza. Um, oh, Fiona, hi, how are you? Hey, said, hi, guys, sorry I'm late. How are we? We're good, thank you. How are you? How are you? Just to let you know, we're just going through our live taste test as well. So, we've just done the extremely cheesy one, really recommend that. Yeah, but toasted yeah. if you're going to get it, definitely toast it. It's much better toasted, and it wouldn't go awry without a bit of ham in there as well. And also, as well, we've just done the apple pie. Uh, apple pie, I did say apple pie because it tastes like apple pie. The app, brand new apple hot cross bun, mm. they were really good too. Really I'm going to give that, and remember, I've not had toasted. I'm giving that an, an eight. Yeah, I'd give it an eight too. And I'm wondering if it'd probably be a nine or a ten if it was toasted. It wouldn't be for me, but I I like hot cross buns not toasted, except for the cheese one because the cheese one needs to be toasted. But I like anything fruity. I like fruit bread and all of that. I don't like it toasted. I like it as the bread, um, and it's the same with the hot cross buns. Um, orange and mango prime energy drink is good, says Laura. Is that the one you're drinking? Ooh, is that the one you're having now? Um, and how does it go with the cheese hot cross buns? Does it go well? 
Uh, where are we? Aoife said, hello. Uh, St. Cot said, nice. Just waiting for the other half to toast. Ooh. Zoe asked, oh, St. Cot, let us know if it tastes better. Yeah. Uh, Zoe asked, is it like a fruit loaf? Kind of, but I've got to say the Bramley apple. Zoe, this is better. I have to say this does taste better. I mean, I think the one that probably will taste more like the fruit loaf will be the luxury um fruited um mm. hot cross buns i think they will taste more like like fruit bread um yeah i think you're right but the, the that that combo of the apple the apple in the bread is so good and it, do you know what it also does as well is it really does keep the buns moist yeah it's so spongy in there that's that's a lot more dense than the other one i think it's because it's got the the apple blended in there mm. um where are we oh i like pineapple on pizza said laura <laughs> Which you know, I do too, Lauren, but I know Madam here doesn't. Oh, yes, I, I second it, Lauren. The orange sparkling prime in the can was the nicest one of the lot. We've not done the cans. We've not done the sparkling, no. We've, we've got the bottles. Them. We've still got them there. That's our remnants of our live taste test that we did them there. I don't know why they're facing the other way and not facing uh, the I don't front. know. They should be facing the front. Uh, do you remember the terrible Wonka experience? Did you see the documentary on the terrible Wonka experience? Because the guy that actually organised it came on. He was crying <laughs> about it. Uh, but he'd done other failed things before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like that was all acting that he was doing. That was just pure acting because he had done other things before um, that had failed and then he tried to become an MP or something like that. <laughs> uh, so God said, oh, the toasted half is even better. Oh. This is, So that's the strawberry and clotted cream. Right, St. Cot, would you recommend that one? Would you recommend the strawberry? And, I'm, I'm assuming yes. He's saying, saying it's delicious. delicious. Uh, Eva said, Lauren, I like pineapple on chicken and turkey. I've never heard of that, pineapple on turkey or chicken. Or chicken. Do you just get the, the rings of pineapple, put it on the chicken? Is that what, That's how just, you have it? But pie, fruit and meat is a no for me. Fruit and meat is just a no. Eva says this, I know that you have a velvetizer, but come on, try a, a genuine plus drinks machine. Um, is that a Dolce Gas show? And unless I can try it free in the store. Then no. Lauren, uh, it's Aoife. Uh, phonetic spelling is Aoife. Uh, yeah. Aoife said, sis, sorry, try a Gino S Plus drinks machine. I know you have a velvetizer. Just try a Gino S Plus. Now, are you recommending this Gino S Plus? I will when I can try it for free. Yeah. <laughs> when I can try it for free, I'll try it. If, I ever, if I'm ever in a hotel or um, I pass a shop that's selling me and selling the free chocolate drinks, I will, I will definitely for sure try it. Right then. Next one. Which one do you want to try, guys? We've got the chocolate, the caramel, the blueberry, or the uh, luxury fruited. Luxury fruited is a posh way of just saying the regular. Yeah. The Which ones do you want us to try next? First in the comments, let us know. Uh, I've just tried the Bramley with you and, and is good, but the strawberry is the best so far. And I really like those Bramley ones. So these clotted creams must be pretty good. These must be really, really good, these clotted cream ones. I, I feel like Sabat likes to make me feel jealous. <laughs> like well, he's he getting did. revenge because you kept showing him the, uh, the the green triangles. And he, got, he gave you the huff emoji, the huff, huff emoji. Right, Zoe says so, chocolate. So what now? I must pay for it each time. Yes. Each and every line, I must pay for that. Right. Zoe has spoken. We are oh, doing the extremely the chocolate. chocolate. I'm going to try this without butter. And then I'm going to try it with some butter. Uh, Aoife said, yes, Mark, rings of pineapple inside and on the turkey or the chicken. So it's, it's actually the, the rings. I thought you were used the rings one. It says, come on, please purchase a Dolce Gusto Gino. I'm not purchasing a Dolce. It doesn't smell of chocolate. It smells a little bit of chocolate. Right, now. We have got plans and I've already bought some stuff. And so I'm not purchasing a coffee machine. Right anyway, now. anyway, back to the review. Uh, so this is a, oh, let me just drop my face. You can see that it's really dark chocolatey colour. Mm. I mean, that's a dark, dark brown, almost like a charcoal brown. You know, like when you get, you book, you bake stuff with black treacle. It yeah. Really that. But the fact that it doesn't smell with chocolate, a smell of chocolate says to me, it's not going to be sweet. I bet it's oh. just going to be quite nice. I, I don't think it's going to be sweet. Okay. We've halved it. And look at that. It is chocolatey all the way through. Oh, I keep forgetting this is inverted. And I'm going to cover go. my eyes, so maybe it'll... Go. Right, okay, here we go. Richard, hello! How are you doing? Hey, Richard. Richard's just having a tuna and rice. Still feel hungover from Ideal Home Show. All those free samples. 
You can tell us about that. I've seen you're starting to upload your videos. I think Lauren went to it as well. Yeah, Lauren went to it as well. Did you guys enjoy it? Um, here we go. Here we go. Grumps is joined. Before we do, Grumps is joined us. Hello. Because I'm shocked, Kelly, at your disgust of pineapple and pizza from a lady who eats chocolate with cheese and onion crisps. Exactly. Chocolate and cheese and onion crisps are very different. Busted it's not, Grumps. It's, it's exactly. Not, it's not like meat. How but are you, though? Are you well? well? Right, here we go. It's not too sweet, but do you know what carries this? When you eat, when you bite into a chocolate piece, it carries it, I feel. It's not, for me, not as good as some of the others that we've tried, but what I like about it is that it's not too sweet. Now I'm going to try it with a bit of butter. Sam said, uh, try tagging the brands you review. They might send you freebies. Well, that's <laughs> an idea. Okay. Why do you go? M&S will owe us a lot of freebies. We do do a lot of their stuff. Thank you, Sam. That was a really Thank good tip. You. Right. Back to the review. Now, yeah. I think this is, this is, it's neither a chocolate cake nor a chocolate thing. It's kind of in between. And I don't think it's as good as either, I'm afraid to say. Um, It's not something that I enjoy, but it's a bit difficult for me because I don't always enjoy chocolatey things. But it's okay. Um, what I might do, because it's not that great, I'm going to toast one of them. And the reason I'm going to toast it now, I should have probably done this with the apple. Do you know what? I like if he toasts that, I think that's going to be like, I don't know, like a proper, it's going to be a bit more lush, I think. Well, that's what I want to see. Yeah, because it's not been now. But if you've got the hatch, this is really handy. The toast is just on the other side, yeah. Um, I reckon that might be, dare I say, quite lush. I'm, I, right. I feel like I'm getting a little bit excited. And I'm going to show you a little bit about Right. Uh, I recommend the Genio S Plus. Uh, come on, darling sister. It's an amazing machine. I'm not buying it. <laughs> I'm not buying it. Lauren said, I was at the Ideal Home Show yesterday, Richard. Did you guys both enjoy it? Ooh. Did you both uh, have a good time there as well? Uh, Tusha, I do enjoy a chocolate hot cross bun and a caramel one. Well, the caramel one, we can try next. So while we're doing that, let's try the caramel one and see what this is like. All right, so this is the extremely caramelly, extremely caramelly, not just caramelly, but extremely caramelly. Look at the other side. Uh, one, right, here we go. Let's try this. Um, one to have, like... With the fruit ones, I don't need them toasted. But I'm wondering, like, with these ones, would, oh, they, wow. do, would they do it? Is that sticky, isn't no, it? No, this is really sticky. So here it is there. Now, it just looks like a regular hot cross bun, but... I'm going to need to... Um, it has got... It is very sticky. You can see that drooping there. It's, it is wow. quite sticky. Right. Again, this is probably better toasted, but we'll, we'll persevere. So glad to see so many regulars on here, says Aoife. Ooh, uh, toasted with Nutella. So we, they, they would be good, actually, with Nutella. Wow, yeah, I didn't okay. even think. Here we go. When you get a caramel, it's gooey, it's sticky. I don't know how it would be without the caramel bit. Oh, yeah. I have a feeling it probably needs the caramel bit. Actually, I was going to say, all it, I, I took a bite, I thought, this is okay, it just does taste a very good bun. When you get a hit of the caramel, the caramel's all sunk to the bottom. Then that is good. That is really good. Yeah. When it hits that caramel pocket, for sure. <laughs> Sam said, Mark looked at that hot cross bun like it was wrong. <laughs> it was, Sam, it was. I was looking at it, I thought, this just doesn't taste that great. Now, I'm not going to taste this one purely because I'll tell you why. All the caramel, because it's sunk to the bottom, that when I put it in the toaster is going to burn. It's going to burn, burn, burn. I so, was going to say, you must, you should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not going to burn. All right, let me pop that up now. I'm so, gonna... Mark's plate's pretty much empty. And this is my plate right here. If I can get the angle correct. So, oh, I just heard it pop up. That's because I forced it. Oh, okay. So, um, we're gonna have that. 
So I've still got a bit of everything on my plate. Right. Now, when you toast this, I don't want it to slip, but if I have that. Can you see all those pockets of, of uh, chocolate have melted? You can see it's melted on the plate. So it will, it, it's going to give it a new dimension, right? Grab one. Grab this one. Grab the top right, one. Where are we? Uh, Lauren said, yeah. Uh, well, Richard said, yeah, it was. Uh, oh, where was I? Was I? Yeah, Richard said, yeah, it was good, Ideal Home Show, as I got a uh, freeze dry review. Um, yeah, too much free rum. Kelly, I uh, sent so many voice notes to people. Yeah. Well, you, you had a few, did you, Richard? Was it good, though? Uh, I agree with Grumpy Old Git. Hot cross buns just need to be spicy. But they, do you know what, though? These are... Um, right. Let, let, before you read any more, let's try before it goes right. cold. Okay. Here we go. Right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, it is better. And I want a little bit better. Right? Much better. That's much, much better. Yeah. But I feel it might need a bit of butter. Which is what I'm going to do. Right this seems now. to be the theme. You've got to toast them. Yeah. Well, not all of them, but I feel like the chocolate and probably the caramel, for sure. Not and caramel. the cheese. So the cheese and the chocolate are way better toasted. I'm sure the Bramley one, the Bramley and the caramel are good as they are. But these are good. Lauren said, yeah. Even though I had a belly ache and I felt faint whilst I was in the food bit and having to go to first aid better and half an hour after that and carried on looking around the show mm. after that accident. Oh, no, I'm sorry was... that you didn't, you went too well. Oh, the show. you were feeling really faint. You were okay. You got to, you had to go, did you have to go to A&E? No. Oh, not A&E, sorry. The, um, you had to go and see the medics. Yeah. Oh, I hope, I hope you're feeling better, Lauren. Um, but at least you got to get to around to the rest of the show. Yeah. Where are we? Uh, you said embrace the stodge. Exactly. And this is what we're doing. Um, Aoife said, uh, Grumps, try the apple turnover hot cross bun and plain hot cross bun from Dunn's uh, store. It's just so doughy. Uh, I know, I, he's not in Ireland. No, also as well, I think you, you haven't sold it. Uh, or oh, Mark and Kelly, I need to ask for your input. Out of the blue, my ex-husband of many years, 2009, uh, we had an annulled split in 2005. Now asked me to come back to him, but he was abusive in the past. I think you've answered your own question. No. I think you've answered your own question. Exactly. Um, think of it as a famous quote in uh, City Slickers. And one of the guys wants to go back to his ex-wife, who's quite abusive. <clears throat> and the, the guy said to him, it was not really a joke, but the guy said to him, was Billy Crystal's joke was, that's like breaking back into Alcatraz. You don't want to go back into that that situation. Yeah. Um, Sam said, free rum? That's cool. Was it Captain Morgan's? <laughs> yeah, what rum was it? What free rum was it? But no, seriously, if I, I, I mean, it's up to you. We don't want to say what to do. Yeah. But I, I think because he was abusive. In the I think past, you've moved on now. Mm. And sometimes it's not always the best to revisit the past. Not always. Sometimes it is, but not always. Lauren said, couldn't have any alcohol tasting as I have I proposed them whilst I was there. Wow. I have my ID on me as well. I tried uh, to try, but I didn't realise I was going to be under the weather. Oh, sorry to oh, get to try. Yeah. Grump said, I think you may need some Gaviscon after all this tasting. I know, I've just wow. realised, but we're going to be eating at least six hot cross buns. <laughs> so uh, 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 let me tell you something, Grump. This is my plate. Can you show them your plate? Yep, yeah, sure. Hang on. And this is my plate. Though. There you go. So we've, we've left. Show plate. them your plate. Right. So I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just taking little bites. This one is eating full this, full that. Touche. Oh my God. Yes. Do you know what? Touche. Uh, the chocolate one is much better. Yeah. What we're, when it's toasted. What, for sure. we, we'll wait to the end before we give you our full review. Well, I don't know because you've been giving eights and nines or no, whatever. No, 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 no. I can still score. I'm allowed to score. You regulars are people I consider friends, Eddie, but oh. Uh, Richard said, my hot cross buns ended up as bread pudding. Mm, oh, that's an idea. Nice. That is an idea. We could <clears throat> do that with the rest of these. Mm -hmm. Bread pudding. If there's any left. Ooh, Zoe said, what about jam on the chocolate? That would work. That would work. They're, that combo. No, so you do. Uh, I do a chocolate and it. cherry uh, um, cake. I do it as cupcakes and as a cake. And I tell you here and now... 
um, uh, cherry or strawberry. In fact, pretty much any one of the jams or marmalades will be really good on here. Apricot, because I do cherry and um, I do apricot um, and chocolate, cherry chocolate, strawberry chocolate, orange chocolate. That would go on any of those jams will go on there for sure. It's funny because Richard put my hot cross buns. I think he meant buns. <laughs> and then uh, Mark, Mark's got chocolate on all of the sides of his mouth. On that. I saved that for later. Mm -hmm. um, ooh, just has some proper salted butter, said Touche. Uh, Richard said, Pepsi Max, Max is washing down my food. Yeah, we've got coffee here to wash down. Yeah, off. and I'm not a lover of Pepsi Max, I must say. Uh, I'm not, to be fair, I don't really like a lot of Coke. Oh, Lauren, Lauren, you poor petal. My heart goes out to you. I think it's a pity play. He found out a few things and saw my certs on Instagram. If that's the case, definitely stay away. Mm. Oh, advert pop up. Sorry, guys. We can't control that, unfortunately, anymore. Yeah. Uh, I didn't go looking for him, Sister Mike. No, I know, but he's unexpectedly came out of the blue. There's your warning. I think stay away. Yeah. Um, where are we? Uh, Hugs Aoife, said uh, Sam. There you are. Mm. Uh, Laura That's said, lovely. no, but for the first aid team, I know what it is. I'm feeling a bit better today. It was extremely hot in the food area. The okay. heat and the stomach ache made me feel worse. Right. Well, I'm glad you're better, Laura. I'm yeah. glad you're better. Yeah. Um, and I'm glad you recovered and were still able to go around. As Sam says, anytime and always. Uh, Aoife. Eva said, Mark, going to make my sis figure sick. I want an egg mayonnaise sandwich, but no eggs or mayo. So just a mayo just, sandwich. So just bread. <laughs> just bread and, bread and butter. Um, Richard said, yeah, free rum uh, was uh, flavoured. Cherry, chocolate, orange, lime and lemon, chilli and raspberry. Did you eat all of those? Drink all Drink of those. Drink all of those, yeah. I was singing on the way home. Made an Olympia to Hammersmith. Didn't ask why. <laughs> my bestie would absolutely love that, and she would try all of them. And then she would get me. She what she would do is she would try all of them, and then get me to get all of the others, so she could have those as well. All right, and guys. she'd probably get Mark as well. Probably yeah. right. Two more guys. Two more. Let's go. Why are you acting like it's like oh, like oh, got okay. two more. We're gonna do blueberry. I just need two more. I think St. Cot's got blueberry. St. Cot, you got blueberry. I think he's got you. St. Cot, you've got blueberry and you've got brandy, right? If you've got the blueberry ones, we're doing them now. So I don't know if you want If to... you can get it out, that is. Now, what's happened is these got crushed in Kelly's bag. So they're more like pancakes rather than hot cross buns. Oh, they smell amazing, man. They mm. really look. Look how many blueberries are in that. And the top. They're not as many on the top, but look how many. It's mad. It's like it's got spots. It's yeah. got so many in there. Right. Um, where are we? Uh, I'm really... Uh, Aoife said, I'm really, really, really craving uh, egg mayo sandwiches. <laughs> what With you... no egg, though. And no mayo. You're going to have to nip off to the shop. Blueberry, I have. All right. We'll wait for Simcock to get his ready. Uh, Lauren said, uh, couldn't have the alcohol tasting as I had ibuprofen. Right. I had my own idea on me to try, but I was under the weather. Well, yeah. I know. It's a shame you didn't get to try them, but you know, there will be another time. Yeah, there will be another time. Um, and we hope, we're glad that you're feeling better. Yeah. Uh, Grump said, do you have a Sparks card? Uh, yes, you I do. do. Yes. Uh, I was going to say, because I know you were going to recommend that we did get a Sparks card if we did, because we do buy a lot of stuff from M&S. But the thing is, like, well, I feel like the Sparks card is a little bit of a rip-off, uh, me personally, because with most other shops, you collect points, and then at the end, you can spend those points. Um, and don't get me wrong, like, for some reason, they've stopped giving me vouchers. You know when you get £5 off or £10 off for the amount of stuff that you buy? I've not been receiving vouchers lately. Well, actually, I say lately, I've not been receiving vouchers for the last two or three years, um, like the receipt vouchers, so I've not been able to, like, use them. But um, I feel like it's a little bit of a thing because I feel like you should be able to collect the points and then the points turn into money. Um, you know, like a Boots card or your Tesco card or your Nectar card. I feel like it should run like that, but it doesn't. So it's a, it's well, a bit... funny enough, that is where we met Grump. So Grump's actually yeah. um, came up to us, approached us when we were doing our um, review. Yeah. So there we are. Yeah. Uh, Eva said, God, I don't want uh want to walk up to the city to do just to shop for eggs and mayo. Do you have anything like Deliveroo or Whoosh or anything like that? Um, just have some toast. Yeah. I was gonna say, but if you're craving it, you might have to bite that bullet. Get some other stuff as well. Treat yourself. There was a sound in their voices for suggested rum. That's by Lord Robert. 
Robert Louis Stevenson. Oh. I do like that quote. That's good. I think you could have, Richard would have, um, that would apply to Richard. There was a sound in his voice that suggested rum on the voice notes he left. Right. Okay. Uh, are you ready, St. Cop? We're getting ready with ours. We're going to try them. Okay. He's probably toasting them. We could try them toasted afterwards. Yeah. Right. Uh, <laughs> she said, have you got blueberries? Is it just the way you walk? Sorry, dad joke. I like that one. <laughs> I guess when you say I put my fish fingers in to cook. How long? About that. But it done. Uh, well, no, I don't, unfortunately. That's the MS card. Oh, sister Mark, the beeping of the bell and doors closing the phone on the intercom, buzzing from the office. It's, I know you'll be out of there soon. Yeah. It's just that communal sounds, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, Morrison still do that points to money thing. Um, that's because Mark's had them. <laughs> Say grumps. That's because Mark's had them all. That's why. Right. right. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Is St. Cot ready? My blooper is ready, he said. Right. Said. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Oh, wow. Do you know what? It almost tastes like alcohol. It does. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It almost tastes like alcohol. It's got like, it does have like a boozy taste. Like a fermented. Yeah, Richard. A fermented taste. Mm. Oh, that is really good. I'm going to try it with a bit of butter. Of course. You never put a bit, a bit of butter on your knife. That is really good. I'm really interested to see which one, right, the blueberry, I cannot decide if I prefer the blueberry or the primary apple. I really like that blueberry. I really like the apple. I mean, normally, I would go for blueberry. It does taste better with, with the butter, though. You never put a bit of butter in your knife. Well, also as well, I think they probably would taste better toasted. So I mm. will reserve judgment for these. I like it with the butter. But let's decide at the end once we try All that right. last one. Um, so, Cot, what are you saying? Yeah, what do you think, so Cot? Lauren said, I might get a Sparks card soon. I've got an email now, and my first debit card bank account is coming. Oh, Ooh, good. Nice. good for you. There you are. Uh, what are prizes? What are points make? Prizes. Exactly. You see, without even reading Sam's comment. Right, where are we? Lauren said, my parents have Sparks cards. Uh, yeah, we, I mean, we can eat us as well. Because you get a lot of shopping, don't you? Think? And then you have to go online to add the deals. I feel like it's a bit of a ripoff. So, Sparks perpetually have deals, right? A lot of them don't even relate to me, but whatever. But in order to use them, in order to utilise them, you have to add them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just feel that's very naughty. I prefer veggie fingers to fish fingers, says uh, really? Mm. I've not tried veggie fingers. Yeah, they have, but you don't really like them. No, they're all... I, I the can't bean, they're, they're like a little bit like bean burgers. Again, the toasted half is better, but the strawberry still wins for me. Oh, we've got Ooh. to try this strawberry. We've got to try this strawberry one. So Cot has really sold it for us. Right. Uh, Grumpy said, oh, that's wishful thinking, Kelly. Two <laughs> uh, said, oh, a bit of butter. Uh, Sam said, uh, boozy hot cross buns. Now we're making it. They do. Do you find St. Cot, is it just us or do they taste a bit boozy? They they taste fermented to me. Not bougie, but boozy. They do taste a bit boozy. I'm the bougie one. Uh just saying. I hate fish in all forms, said Eva, even tuna now. Wow. Really? Oh, you you not had it cooked properly. Go to a proper fish restaurant yeah, and get it cooked. Properly. Yeah, I mean monkfish. Oh. Um, so good. Lauren said hopefully MS has still got some of these in stock. Well, they probably I'm will. sure they will do, yeah. Maybe. I mean it's it, it, Easter's on Sunday, but you still got Easter Sunday, you've got Monday. They'll have they'll overstock and then they'll be selling them for cheap after that. I know, exactly. Yeah. Well, we've got quite a few to get through. Right. Okay. The last. The last but not least. As Sam says, veggie finger sarnies with cherry tomatoes are lush. I've not tried what well, do you know what, Sam? I'm gonna give them another go. I didn't think much of them when I had them. Tomatoes. No, not tomatoes. The veggie fingers. I didn't think much of them at the time. I love tomatoes. Right, four fruit. Oh, what was that? I thought I, I thought you said something about sandwich and tomatoes. Right. Yeah, hot cross buns for days. Don't worry about it. We've not with this one. You're joking. Right. Here we go. 
So this is the classic. Wow, there's lots of fruit in that. Look how much fruit yeah, is in there. Loads. Loads. It's not a luxury for a reason. I thought, well, what's luxury about it? But there's a ton of there's fruit in there. A ton of fruit in right, there. Here we go. And this is a lot. Mark's giving up cutting them, in, cutting them um, through <laughs> nice the middle now. He's just cutting them down. Here we go. So there we go. Here we go. Cha-ching. You can really taste the fruit as soon as you bite into Oh, it. wow. Again, is it meat or does it taste in alcoholic? No, it's not tasting boozy. There's a ton of fruit packed into that. When they said luxury fruited, they're not messing around. These have got loads of spice in them. They're very, very dense. As, as Tushi says, embrace the stodge. These are really thick. I'm putting butter on mine. I feel that I need it. But they don't taste boozy to Mark, but they sure taste boozy to me. These are really good. Again, those, the apple one, and the blueberry would be amazing uh, uh, toasted. They would be absolutely amazing toasted. Okay. That is really good. That is really, really good. All right. Um, a lot to think about. Right. Now then. To think about. Now, we didn't toast those last three. Mm -hmm. The ones that we toasted, so this is the way I'm going to do it. The ones that we toasted, I've got to give leeway because and, and bear in mind that the others would have been better toasted. Everything's better toasted. Mm -hmm. So, here we go. Well, not everything, but... Oh, yeah. yes. Um, uh, where are we? Right, so uh, Eva said, oh, Kenny, please don't know how uh, Rashid found my Instagram. Well, if he's looking for it, it's very easy. He to knows track your someone. name. It's very, you. very easy to track someone. You'd be absolutely surprised how easy it is to track someone. Um, Sam said, I had a beautiful fish pie on Mother's Day. Oops, mm. caps, it was so tasty. <laughs> I was going to say, I thought it was almost like you're, you're just right, really emphasizing how beautiful it was. Mm. Was that a local fish place, um, Sam? Where did you get that from? I love a fish pie. Um, I love steak pie and mashed potatoes, said Aoife. Mm. Uh, Trump said, save the best and real hot cross buns till last. Mm. Now, I'm going to say... That is what we did. I'm going to say, though, Grump, these were really good. So that's mm. the luxury food I was thinking, oh, these are going to be boring hot cross buns. These are much better than regular hot cross buns, in my opinion. These are really, really good. They're packed with fruit. Loads of spices in there. Sultanas, currants. Uh, what spice have they got? They've got mixed peel, again. Lemon peel, orange peel. So it's got quite a lot of... I'm just seeing if it's got any... I have to disagree a little bit because, for me... I don't think they're as good as some of the others that we've had already. No, but they're still really good. Yeah, they're still really good. I would recommend them, them to a regular hot cross bun. So forget the flavours. How would you rate them against regular hot cross buns? I think they're good and I would definitely recommend them. Because do you know what? Um, I don't have the same taste buds as other people. So, But I can imagine if you like traditional hot cross buns, these are a step beyond that. So if you like that, you're definitely going to like these for sure. Sam said, oops, caps on, I haven't even been drinking rum. Are you sure, Sam? Are you sure, Sam? You haven't got that uh, Robert Louis Stevenson quote there for nothing. Robert Louis, Louis Stevenson, sorry. Uh, so he said, they look tasty. They are. They are. Now, one thing I will say is all of these is if they've got the fruit in, it's so much more dense than the ones without the fruit in. Now, they've all got raisins in, apart from the chocolate one uh, and the uh, cheesy one. And those ones are a lot lighter. Mm. As you can see, they were a lot less dense. But the others with the fruit in really are good. Yeah. Um, get the butter on it, Kel. I did, and it was better with butter. You never put a better bit of butter in your knife. Yeah. Uh, Eva said to Touche, please try mashed potato and steak pie. Um, you love that steak pie. Uh, Sam said, maybe they're soaked in that, that fruit and sherry, which makes it delicious. Do you know what? Like, to me, I feel like... They, they, the both the blueberry and the luxury fruit tasted of alcohol to me. Right, we've had quite a few of these, so yeah. <laughs> I've had a bite of all of them. I think I'm gonna have to have a little a lie down, but I'm gonna have some of this thing because I like the apple. What did I say? Mm. What did I say? That apple. All right. Okay. Now then, let's put these in orders. Let's put these in order. Okay. 
What goes last? The chocolate. One. I agree. Okay, guys. So, despite the fact we had two of them, I have to say, even toasted, they taste better toasted. Yeah, they do. But they're. I know they're extremely uh, chocolatey. There are better ones out there. Yeah. They're okay, but even toasted, they're not that great. Um, are they worth the calories? No. I don't think so either. So I no. So that comes last. Extremely chocolatey. And from now on, that is how I'm going to score everything, whether I believe they are worth the calories or not. Mark is going to score out of ten or whatever. I'm gonna. I'm gonna let you know. Are they worth the calories? Right. What now? This yeah, is no. This is difficult because I think the rest are all good. Which one would you say uh, is one, two, the one. next least one? Yeah. I would say um, the the caramel one, possibly. I agree. Look at that. We're on a thing. I, that was what I had in my head. Yeah. So nice. Nice. Again, really nice. The caramel adds to it. It's not that these are horrible. But you have to bite into the caramel in order for it to, do you know what I mean? To get that nice taste. I agree. And I feel like. But that's going to drop yeah. that one. <laughs> yeah. I feel like, um, yeah, you have to bite into the caramel in order to get that good taste. And uh, it shouldn't be like that. The whole thing should taste nice. And then the, the caramel should be that extra layer of yumness. Now, these are good. If you were to eat these, if you were to buy these and eat these, you won't be disappointed. It's only dropping points for exactly the same reason Kelly said. I, it's not worth the calories. Uh, so that's... Me personally, it's not worth the calories. Now then. Now then, this is where it gets tricky. I, for me, it's very easy. I've right. already decided. Which is the one that goes next? Um, uh, the luxury fruit. What? We're on the wavelength. This is unlike Kelly and I to be on the same wavelength. I agree. Again, you would not be disappointed if you bought these. Yeah, you would be disappointed. But again, it's not worth the calories. No, I disagree. It's worth the calories for me. But like I said, if you were going to get one, I would just go one other. If you if you like traditional, this is the one for you. But I'm going to score this one in whatever place it would be. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't go to the shop and buy them. Uh, I would only buy them, like, obviously to do on the taste, um, sort of like review and stuff like that. But I wouldn't, act, if I was going to go and get hot cross buns, they were, it would not be those. Right, now then. We have got our top three. So these are our top three. The cheesy, the apple, and the blueberry. So those are, without question, those are our recommendations. Even if you were to have any one of those, you wouldn't be disappointed. But if you're getting the cheese one, you've got to toast it. Right, what comes third? Um, I would say um, the blueberry. No, I disagree. I say this. Because we toasted it, right. I think the blueberry would be better. This is delicious, but... You want the blueberry. And uh, I, for me, I yeah, it's the blueberry that will... All that right, is. what would come second? Um, then the apple one would come second. So you're, you're putting that one top? Yeah. I disagree. I totally disagree. So we do not have a clear winner, I'm afraid, because Kelly and I are in total disagreement. I, for me, the winner's out of these two. For me, these are worth the calories. So I would willingly buy the apple. Yeah. Would it, if they put the caramel and apple together, that would probably be amazing. Do you know what? I would that agree would with, probably be amazing. Do you know what? I would agree with Kelly. If we go for the sweet one, I would say the apple wins it just a shade over the blueberry. But the blueberries, but it is fine hairs for me. Both of these are delicious. Um, for me, I would again. Um, I wouldn't waste my calories on um the blueberry, but I would willingly buy. The cheese one, and I and that sh shocks me. It's really surprising me because I didn't think, to be quite honest with you, I thought the cheese was going to be the worst out of all of them. Yeah, I I, I didn't think it'd be the worst, but I did think I was thinking. I did. I think it would be near the bottom. I was just like, oh god, these are going to be the worst. I thought they would, uh, and like like I like I said, I don't like chocolatey things, and I thought the chocolate would come above the the cheese. I literally thought it was going to be the last, but nope. Now the reason nope. why. We, to be fair as well, we didn't toast the other two, and we toasted the cheese, and that really elevated it. I think if you had toasted the other two, which we can do if you want to try. No, because I told you I don't like toasted fruit in stuff. 
So I'm not one. So like, like I said, a fruit loaf, I would never toast that. I would just have it as is with lashings of butter and a cup of tea. And that would suit me because I, I treat them more like cakes. So I would never toast a cake. So for me, I would never toast a fruit loaf. I wouldn't. Uh, don't get me wrong. I've had toasted fruit loaf and I don't like it. Um, but no, for me, if I, I would waste calories on two things, the cheesy one and the um, apple one, brand new apple. Right. Now, this is completely throwing it out of the water because Kelly and I are in complete disagreement. So what we're going to do, we are going to say those are our top three because Kelly and I are not agreeing on this. So that just shows this is really a matter of taste. And Ooh. I don't even like the cheese. Right. So that those three are our winners. We're gonna, not going to name them in order because Kelly and I can't agree. So it's going to be between the cheese, the uh, the brandy apple. And the blueberry. And the blueberry. Those are But, but, if that was blueberry pancakes, well, that would come up top. Just saying. I think if you toast it, you find it better. No, I wouldn't. Well, there you go. All right, guys. So we hope you enjoyed that. We don't yeah. have a clear winner. We would The one that surprised us the most is the extremely cheesy one. Kenny and I thought this would be the bottom. This was near the top. I would toast that and I'd put a piece of ham in it. Uh, I'd, I'd butter it, put a piece of ham in it, and I would enjoy that with a cup of tea. And especially if there was condensed milk in my, um, uh, carnation milk in my tea. So carnation milk, not condensed, but evaporated milk. So if I had um, carnation milk in my tea, uh, one of those toasted with a piece of ham in that, a little splattering of herbs, possibly. I would. Oh, that would be delicious. A delicious snack. A delicious evening snack. Right. Okay. There you have it, guys. We cannot decide on it, but do try them. We would recommend those three, though, for sure. Right. Let me catch up with the comments because there are a lot, and I need to catch up. Go on. Right. Uh, Lauren said, "Oh, she's going to see Ghostbusters tomorrow." Oh wow! Oh, I'm jealous. I am jealous. I see, I've known a couple of people to go, already go and see Ghostbusters, and um, I've heard good things. About, uh, to be fair, I've heard mixed reviews about it. Uh, Grump said, have you tried the hot cross bun burger? No, I haven't. Uh, do you know what, though? If you were going to make a burger out of any of these, you could, you could, in my opinion, use those, the cheesy ones, because uh, you could toast them and have a burger in the middle. Also, Mark's vegetarian, so he wouldn't eat a burger. No, but I would have a veggie burger. But yeah, yeah, you would have a veggie burger. But I don't know if they would do it with a veggie burger. I mean, you could. With a new thing we said in the States, so Grumps, this is one thing you've got to look forward to. They now have, they now make burgers with donut. So the idea is you cut the donut in half. Instead of the burger, you have the top half of the donut and the bottom half of the donut. And they also do it with full donut. So the full top is oh, donut God. and the full bottom is oh, the donut. And then thing. there's a lot. It's normally chicken. Um, two but... burgers. Imagine having that. Two donuts. The calories. Exactly. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, no. Grumps, have you tried it? And would you recommend it? Uh, Sam says, I love making pies. I would rock a pie and mash shop. A few cool flavours of mash and seasonal pie fillings done traditionally. So tasty. Mm. Sam, so I know because you obviously originally come from London. When's the last time you went to a pie and mash shop? Is there one in Cornwall or have you been to one in London? Uh, we're hoping one day you can come to London as well. So you can try one of these uh, pie and mash stuff and mm. a load of other stuff as mm. well. But uh, are there any in Cornwall just out of interest? I always thought they were a London thing. When I was in the West Country, I never. When I lived in Wiltshire, I never saw a pie, uh, pie and mash. Shop. Really? Do you know what? I would have thought up up in the West Country, pie and mash would have been like a popular thing. I don't know why. Uh, More no, than in London. No, it's a real copy thing. Really? Uh, he said, "Yeah, absolutely, Sam." Zoe said, "That's it. I made my mind now. I'm getting the cheese, the blueberry, and the fruit one." Oh, and they and they do, but well, but they're doing two for three pounds. So. Make of that what you will, but if you go late, they'll probably do it at a discounted price anyway. But it, it may still work out two for three pounds, might be cheaper anyway. But Eva yeah. says, Sam, I absolutely concur regarding the pies. Do you have pie mash in, in Ireland? Uh, Lauren said, I might be going to Cornwall soon, hopefully in a few weeks. Oh, nice. To so said, uh, pie and mash, now you're speaking my life. Uh, extra gravy, peas. No. That's a real Richard thing. Richard loves yeah, pie Richard loves pie mash. We 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 have been saying it for a while. We have spotted a pie mash that we do want to try. Pie mash is not really my thing, but I will eat it. But it's not really. Oh, my thank God, give it to the review. Well, I, do you know what it is? I feel like it's a texture thing of the mash Just and the pie. I love mash and I love pie. 
we will try. We'll try. We'll try. Laura, perhaps in mid-April we might be able to have a meetup. Uh, yes, yeah, Sam, bring it on. Open a pie shop. Touche, amen to pie, mash, and peas and gravy. I would love to, Aoife. <laughs> that would be good, actually. I can imagine that. Would you make your own liquor with a parsley mm, sauce? And, I'm, I'm sure she would. And Sam, would you do eels? Would you do the jelly eels? Mm. Uh, where are we? Uh, oh, brownies would be my favourite. Brownie apple, really? Oh. Now, brownie apples to eat aren't that great, but they no. are, they're really much a cooking apple. In my yeah, opinion. they are a cooking apple. Oh, wow. St. Cot said the strawberry and clotted cream are well worth the calories. So, St. Cot, are you saying they're the best? Because if they're better than these... He just said they're worth the calories. Right. Where well, are you even reading? No, what no, no, saying? no, no, no. But if they're better than the brownie ones, which I think you are saying that. Wow. Oh, sorry. Some stuff there. Right. Eva said uh, you can. Glad the apple one. Uh, well, I don't know if the apple one, actually, Aoife, because we're in a disagreement. Kelly wants the cheese one. I would have voted one of the other two because I had to take into account we didn't toast the other two. We did with the cheese one. Yeah, we did with the cheese one because you would toast a cheese one. I wouldn't toast apples in the toaster and I wouldn't toast blueberries in a toaster. Just saying. Uh, Lauren said, I'm hoping my eczema gets better first. It's flared up badly again. Oh. oh, no. I'm doing everything I can. Got a bunch of creams yesterday. Well, I do hope that gets better for you. Yeah. That must be good because it itches as well. My brother had terrible eczema. Yeah. Um, and he said, yeah, he used to have the cream to help it. Uh, ooh, Touche has got an idea. What about toffee apple flavour? That is a That's really good That's what option. I was saying. The caramel with the apple would be a good combo. It would. It would. I wonder if we should try that. Half like and strawberry half. and clotted cream. It's a good combination. We should half and half it and see what it's like. But I do like the idea of toffee apple, actually. Uh, Zoe said, oh, I can't wait to try the cheese ones. Oh, we hope we haven't overplayed it, Zoe. It's good. But it, we would really recommend it. It's like having a cheese toasting. It's not extremely, because it says it's extremely cheesy. Now, I'm not, a, like, I don't like loads of cheese on anything. I'm not that type of person. These were pleasant, especially toasted. And like I said, if I put a piece of, some butter and a piece of ham in that, oh, with a cup of tea, Very and nice. a rosy lee. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Uh, thanks, Eva, but I prefer not to, unfortunately. Uh, if you bump into me somewhere, but that will be fine. Now, that's fair enough. Um, no, I know you don't stalk people, Eva, but yeah, it's just that totally anybody's preference. Yeah. Um, Lauren said the cheese ones are the best. You see? That's, so that's two endorsements of the cheese. Two. Like I said, it's about the calories. Uh, right, no. And now this was interesting. Uh, uh, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Uh, that's fine, Aoife. I prefer not to arrange a meeting. I know you're a lovely person. If I bump into you somewhere, that will be fine. Uh, Sam said, no pie and mash shops down here that I know of. So there you are. You would have you actually coin the market. Uh, this oh, is the wow, thing. Wow, wow. There aren't in Wiltshire that I've seen. It, it, it shocks me. It's very much an East End thing. It's very much yeah, an East End thing. I don't know. Thing. I just like, just imagine it. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Lauren said, I'm looking forward to Cornwall. Hopefully, I haven't been since I was in a push chair. Oh, wow. Wow, wow. So, wow, oh, that would be nice. You'll really enjoy it. I hope you get to nice. go in the summer. Mm. I'm sure it's uh, uh, much nicer in the summer. Uh, Sam said, traditional Irish cold. Is it cold cannon? Cold cannon. Would be one on my pie and mash shop. Oh, that would be brilliant. I do like cold cannon, yeah. That is such a good idea. Normally, pie and mash is just plain mash. Yeah. But I would do honey mustard. But to have cold cannon with it is an absolutely brilliant idea. And I'd probably mix my gravy with onions. Uh, Sam? Sam, you need to copyright that. That's a brilliant idea. That is a really, really good idea. Right, so St. Cot said this is his... Uh, okay. This is his older. Right. Right. So he said it's close. Oh. Strawberry and clotted cream first. Number one. Then the brownie. Mm -hmm. Then the blueberry. Yeah. Now we. I hope you could get hold of the cheese because the are, cheese is not going to top the strawberry and clotted cream. Well, the order we had, and again we didn't disagree. Kelly's order was blueberry, then brownie, then cheese. Mine was the other way around. So mine was cheese, blueberry, then apple. Yeah, he's he's going from worst to best rather than in your order, St. Cot. So the, I would go, in my order, would be first would be the cheese, second would be the brownie apple, and third would be the blueberry. Uh, oh, it's snowing in Cornwall two days ago. Oh, my wow. God. 
Yeah, it's I think hailstones yeah, the temp- uh, like here. The temperature has dropped. It was quite cold today. Laura's I had eczema since I was a baby. Oh bless. Oh, oh but like I said, you can get my remember what cream is it? Is it E45? E45. 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 That's the one I think you can use. Uh, so he said, what cheese is it? Does it say on the packet? Yes, it does. Yes. Red Leicester and cheddar. Yes. Red Leicester. And you could see the cheese run through it. Yeah, the Red Leicester you can definitely see. Loaded with extra mature Barber's Farmhouse cheddar and smooth Red Leicester. But the cheddar is not even, like, you know you can get mature cheddar that is, like, really quite strong. It's not that like I said, I'm one, I can't have strong cheeses. You know, like, like Mark can eat, like, all the blue cheese and the smoked cheese and this cheese and the that cheese. So I'm having one um, of I can't eat cheese like that. It needs to be, like, pretty mild for me to enjoy it because I don't like the, I don't like it when something overpowers. You know, like, if you get something and it's too sugary and it overpowers whatever it is, like something that's too cheesy would overpower, or something with cucumbers in it would overpower whatever it is you're trying to enjoy. So um, I feel like it's a nice combination, the, the cheese one, toasted with ham. That would be my recommendation. And a cup of tea. Don't forget a cup of tea. Uh, oh, Laura said she's going in April. Oh, nice. Um, you're, you're quite the little traveller, yeah, Laura. Hey, Laura. You are yeah, the little traveller. I like it. I like it. Sam said, "Skin is the largest organ in the body." Yes, uh, Lauren. And if it goes wrong, you can make uh, you so poorly, so hugs. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say it's um, that can't be nice when you've got, especially when it flares. Mm. Um, Laura said, "Oh, thanks, Sam. Uh, I'm glad to be part of the community. All of you are so lovely. <laughs> oh, bless you. And do you know what? We are so lucky to yeah. have you in our community. We really, really are. Yeah. Because, like I said, you really do make these lives enjoyable." You watch us stuff really? our faces and like stuff, but you are so good. You join in. It's just fantastic. It's so lovely. Really, really is. Um, where are we? So, uh, she said, oh, lots of love, uh, Lauren. Um, right. So there we have it. Thank you so much, guys, for uh, indulging us in the thing. We, yeah. We have got quite a few left. It feels like I've just dented the surface, but... Um, it reminds me, any, has anybody seen that Morrison's advert for Hot Cross Buns? So you see there's two ladies in chairs sitting side by side. One goes, oh, I'm going to try my first taste of this Hot Cross Bun. And she goes to bite it. She goes, you've had five, Beryl. <laughs> and that's how I feel. Because we have had quite a lot of these. So, um, and I've been eating Kelly's ones as well. So He's saying we, we, we. There's no we. Well, sure, we, we, we. Because I've just been having bites. Uh, MK family love, exactly. And the love to you all. Yeah, oh, bless you all. Um, right, there we are. So you've had it on the thing. Definitely recommend those top three for sure. The others, if you bought them, they are perfectly nice. Yes. So don't, if you've got them and think, oh, God, these, Mark and Kenny said they're rubbish. They're not. We're just comparing them to each other, don't forget. So um, if you like chocolate, and you really that the chocolate's gonna be it's not overpowering, it's really it's it's underplayed, it's not overly sweet, it's quite nice. But we are judging them against each other and what what our preference would be. That doesn't mean that that's gonna be the same as your preference. No, for I mean. sure, for sure. Um uh but yeah, they are. I mean, and again, we've just got the MS one. So Cop highly recommends. The, the strawberry, strawberry and the clotted cream, cream one. So, again, that's one that's definitely worth looking at. Uh, hey, Liam! Hey, Liam! Big up, Mark and Kelly. Good to see you. Liam, we've just finished our review of the Hot Cross Buns. How are you doing? You I well? You're well. Lovely to see you. You're being all right. Um, Lauren said, uh, I do watch other people as well, but the uh, the community ain't as nice as you lot. Oh, bless. Aww. Yesterday, I was joining in the quiz, and some of their side are quite rude, in my opinion. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry, but you are always welcome here, yeah. Lauren. This is always a safe space. All inclusive. And we love to have you here as well. Uh, Sam said, add cheese to those leftover buns and make toasties. Melt Kelly's cheese. Right? Well, funny enough. Right? Kelly has got a slab of cheese that she put on the... the I, I put it, uh, and in my mind, do you know what I was thinking? I was thinking, oh, if only this cheese was melted. Like, th- that's exactly what I was thinking. I was, I was like, mm. but then I'd have to go into the kitchen and put it under the grill and all of that type of stuff. And I'm, we're doing a live. We ain't got time for that. Um, but yes, if I was to have ham and cheese, best believe my cheese would be melted on that. Liam said, have you guys seen the main Millie Bobby Brown eating carrots? No, I haven't. No. Is, is that on TikTok? 
Is that is that a meme of some sort? Yeah, well, that's what he said. The meme, yeah. Oh, said, right. Have you seen the meme? No. Really wrote, uh, no, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that. They do say, and again, hang on, I'm going to sneeze. You carry on. Okay. Um, I ha I, I'm, I've not seen Excuse that me. meme of Mini Bobby Brown, but to be fair to me, I don't keep up with a lot of memes. I did read somewhere as well that somebody said she wasn't very nice. And I so that's just somebody's opinion. That's not to say she isn't. Yeah. But uh, and also, I feel like it depends on at what point you catch them and what mood they're in. Yeah. Like to be fair, you do get some celebrities who are always rude, um, and uh, and or just rude for the sake of being rude. Or you do get some who they're just tired. They've been signing all or they've been visiting people. Or they've just had a work day and they just want to sit down and enjoy a meal and all of that type of stuff. Um, and then sometimes you just always catch them on a good note and they're always ready. Like I've heard that Keanu Reeves is um, pretty nice and uh, he's always ready for a chat and stuff like that. But you know who I met that was really quite nice? Um, what's the one uh, who I always, uh, is it Nigel? No, Bill Nye. Bill Nye. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's really nice. Um, I didn't ask him for his autograph or anything like that. Um, but I, I bumped in, so I was I was in a place that, that is closed down now. I forget what one it's called, but it's it's a little bit similar to Eat, or it might have been Eat actually. I was in, and um, he was in the he was in there in the queue waiting like everyone else, and I was just like, does anybody know who this guy is? This is Bill Nye, like, and I was just standing like in awe. Anyway, I was before him and I went and ordered, and then as I stepped back. I bumped into him and I was like, oh, I'm sorry. Because no, that's all right. Do you know, he's just so polite. He had flowers. He was just, he's always dressed in, every time I see him. Yeah, I've seen, him, suit. Yeah, yeah, I've seen yeah. him about three or four times in London. He's always in a suit, forever just walking around London in, in a suit. He's so funny. What's the context, Liam, with uh, Millie Bobby Brown and the eating carrots? Mm. Is it something she's done or is, it, is there a reason why they got her eating carrots? I'll have to check that out after the mm. live. Um, Damsel with Molly Bobby Brown was very good. I thought the best thing I've seen her in is Stranger Things. I am. Um, I've just. I downloaded um, Damsel for me to watch it. Uh, one of the mods yesterday said Lauren uh, on the chat said if anyone mentions Wonka, they will be timed out. How rude! People can talk about whatever they like. <laughs> well, you can on this. Just no spoilers. No spoilers, and obviously we we only say obviously don't be rude. That's our only yeah, speculation. Yeah. Yeah. The woman I met from Doctors was a very nice lady, uh, even though she posted a video of myself on her Instagram. Yes, I saw that. Yeah, when you, I, I was I, I able to manage the um, manage to watch the link when you sent it. Uh, Laura said, I don't know who Bill Nye is, really. You would recognise him. He's been in loads of movies. Loads of movies. Uh, if you've seen, um, is it uh, Underworld? Do you want to, yeah, Underworld he's in. Uh, uh, Kelly's yeah. going to um, get a, a, a shot of him. Right, where are we? Uh, we get, we'll show up a little picture. Every day. The, the thing is, he does a lot of character work. Yeah. So he's usually in something, but he played in Pirates of the Caribbean, and um, so you may or may not recognise him because <laughs> sometimes he's always um, dressed up as a character. Liam said she looks like Wallace, uh, like Wallace from Wallace and Gromit. She said, uh, she says, "Dirtier the better." While eating a big carrot, I haven't seen that one at all. There you go. That's Bill Nye. That's Bill Nye. You'll recognise him. He'll be in loads of movies. Yeah, but so he does a lot of character work, so she might not recognise him if he's all dressed uh, up. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sure Do you know what I mean? So, like, it, it, in Pirates of the Caribbean, he, um, you wouldn't recognise him because he's got all, like, all the... All the tentacles. Oh, yeah, I forgot that's him. Yeah. Uh... And in Underworld, he's all dressed up as well, so yeah. you might recognise him in that. Keanu says, uh, Keanu means cool breeze over the mountain. Yeah, because he's Hawaiian, isn't he? Well, so his mum's English, you know that. Oh, right. Uh, um, yeah, and so uh, I'm I'm assuming that his name, obviously, is from Hawaii. And, and the names are quite symbolic, aren't they? Oh, so Lauren's asked, did you like that video she took? Yeah, yeah, it was nice, yeah. It, it, it she, she was quite pleasant as well, so it was quite nice, yeah. There you oh. go. Well, guys, wow. uh, we've been going for an hour and a half. We we are all hot cross buns out. So I think we will leave the live there. But thank you so much for joining in with our, our live so as well. So much fun. Um, 
We hope you have an absolutely amazing Easter, whatever you guys are doing yeah. this weekend. Like I said, we, sure. we just chow down on Greg's earlier on as well. We had loads of Greg's here, so I've got to edit that video at some point. He's keep he, he saying we. What's that? Like we ate loads. Oh, yeah. Well, I ate loads there, so I am all thinking that my cold cup made a little appearance. Yeah, back. it has, actually. I can hear uh, it. And going through the live, he was getting worse and worse. Uh, Bill Nye, Mr. Rufus, as it scrim... Go from Harry Potter. That's right, Rufus Scrimgeour from Harry Potter. Yes, he is. Oh, bless you, Zoe. It's been great. Happy Easter. Yeah, happy oh, Easter. Have happy a Easter wonderful Easter weekend. You. Whatever you guys are doing, have it. Happy Easter Sunday. Happy uh, Easter. Good Monday. Friday, as it is today. Um, yeah, happy Easter Sunday. Happy Easter Monday. And thank you for spending your Good Friday with us. Yeah. I know some of you have off to watch some movies now, so enjoy those. Um, so that's it for Mark and Kelly's trips, tips, and things for uh, this week. Yeah. Uh, but we, as inevitably as always, we will be back on Tuesday, six thirty UK time. Uh, have a great Easter, everyone. Melt my strawberry and clotted cream. Right. <laughs> Bye. Um, and thank you for joining us. Thank you for being part of the community. It's just so lovely to have you with us. And um, if you, you know, if you listen to us in the background and you haven't subscribed, if you like our videos and you haven't subscribed, then please do. It helps out the channel and it pushes it out. To, uh, thank you for all the likes because that also pushes it out to other people. And hopefully we can grow this community with the more subscribers and stuff. So thank you for all the likes. Thank you for watching because. We wouldn't have anything to talk about if you weren't here. Exactly. You know I mean? So until then, guys, look after yourselves. Do take care. Have a wonderful Easter weekend, whatever you get up to. And we will see you on Tuesday. Until then, bye for now. And don't forget to melt my cheese. You know it, or you're extremely cheesy. Right? Hot cross buns. All right, guys. Take care. Bye. Bye for now.